Hey friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today we're here in Phoenix, Arizona enjoying a beautiful February winter's day. And we've got the 2014 Mazda 3 sedan, the first all new Mazda 3 since the divorce from Ford a few years ago. And one of the big things that this car has to say is it's got the new Skyactiv engine that's rated at 41 miles to the gallon. That's a pretty big number. So today we're going to take it on a road trip up to Kingman, Arizona to see if it can meet or exceed that 41 miles per gallon. Before we hit the road, let's do a quick walk around of the new Mazda 3. No longer sharing its underlying architecture with Ford, Mazda made a few styling changes right away. It follows the company's Kodo design language which also graces the larger Mazda 6 sedan. Notable up front is a distinctly longer distance between the front wheel and the cabin. This affords additional space inside for legroom and in the engine compartment for its Skyactiv engine. It also gives the car a longer and more planted stance. The style is undoubtedly Mazda and thankfully loses the smiling Jack Nicholson Joker face of the last Mazda 3 model. Under the hood is a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine with direct injection and high compression. It's mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission that's designed to save fuel. The entire powertrain falls under the marketing umbrella of what Mazda calls Skyactiv technology. In our first driving segments through the Papago Park in Phoenix, the handling of the Mazda 3 is already showing itself to be pretty tight and sporting. The steering is precise and the chassis offers up a firm ride that transmits plenty of surface information to the driver. So let's get to this MPG challenge and see if the Sky Active is really what they say it is. Before we headed out of Phoenix, the tank was topped off and the trip odometer was zeroed out. Game on! Once on the freeway, we settled into a gas saving pace pretty close to the speed limit at all times. One of the first novelties I noticed was the 3D navigation map which flashes up convenient highway sign information to go along with the map itself. Before long, we were off the freeway and into the mountainous highways, which are the key challenge to meeting our 41 MPG highway rating. With a little finessing of the throttle up and down grades, however, we were surprised at our current average when we rolled into Wickenburg, Arizona. With the trip computer reading 44.8 MPG, we slowed the pace and rolled through downtown Wickenburg, a touristy town and Old West theme filled with shops, museums, and cowboy flair. It's also a good time to stop and check out the interior of the Mazda 3. The cabin of our Mazda 3 Grand Touring features a well-optioned package of materials and features. Signature is black leather seats with red accent stitching. The accent thread also weaves its way through the steering wheel as well. Piano black trims are found on the door panels and dash as well as the center console. With this trim grade, a large screen audio and navigation system is at the top of the dash controlled by a console mounted puck and satellite buttons. The system is at first confounding as it's very unusual to have the radio controls down on the console and not on the dash. HVAC controls are thankfully located at center stage and remain simple to use. The automatic shifter of course offers a manual shift gate but there are no paddle shifters here. The rear seat is adequate for space in this class offering fold down backs for increased storage area through the trunk. Overall, the materials and execution of the interior are well done and business like in character. Back on the road, our trek gets more challenging as we get into more mountains. Uphill grades really cut into the gas mileage, so we don't push too hard. The good news is that what they take away going up, they give back going down. Our next stop is Wikiup, Arizona. Yes, Wikiup. We roll into town here with the new MDG average of 45.1 and decide to take in some of the local flavor. Wikiup is essentially a tourist trap with a few gas stations, an Indian gift shop, and a fruit stand or two. Well folks, before we get back on the road to Kingman, I just wanted to go over that mileage one more time. 45.1 MPG average so far on this trip, and that's even with all of those mountains. That's incredible if you think about it. This car is only rated at 41 MPG highway. So when we get to Kingman, we're going to fill it up with gas and we're going to do a hard measurement with the odometer versus gallons to see how accurate that trip computer is and see what kind of mileage this car truly got on our trip. 
But before we leave, I just wanted to show you a few things in here, a few observations on this interior during the trip, because when you drive a car for two or three hours and spend a good amount of time in it, why, you find a few things that you don't always notice when you just take a quick drive. And the first thing is, uh, while these seats are very comfortable and firm, they're very supportive if you're doing some high performance driving, I found out they're a little bit hard, uh, you know, over about a two or three hour period. In fact, my, my butt feels a little sat upon. Um, the other thing is, is this knob down here that controls the stereo system. When I first got in the car, I first started driving it, it was really off-putting because there are no switches or knobs for this radio here on the dash. And it's got this big display screen up here and you tend to want to just start touching it just like most touch screens. But it's not a touch screen, it's all about this little puck down here. One button, one knob and a couple of other little satellite buttons control the entire thing and the nav system. That sounds pretty sucky actually on the surface of it, but after driving down the highway for a few hours and getting used to it, I've actually come to like it. It's very easy as you're driving down the road to just reach down here and watch what you're doing up there on the screen and it just becomes second nature. So I have to hand it to Mazda. They've made it simple, uh, simpler than you might think it should be, but it works. On the final stretch into Kingman, we get onto Interstate 40, which exposes us to higher speed limits of 75 miles per hour, which at first starts cutting into the instant miles per gallon average. But luckily, we're looking at the total picture, not just 10 mile increments. On the freeway, the Mazda 3 rides well and it isn't that bothered by crosswinds. Noise levels are moderate and passing power from the 2 liter Skyactiv engine is actually pretty impressive given its efficiency minded tune. As we roll into Kingman, anticipation is high to see what our final fuel economy number is according to the trip computer. After a few stoplights, we pull into the fuel station and have a look at the readout on the instrument cluster. It says 44.5 mpg. Of course, this isn't the final answer. It's well known that dash readouts aren't always accurate. After all, they're simply the result of the computer's calculations based on a number of factors. So the tank is topped off and the number of gallons we replaced are divided into the total of 200 miles our trip has run. In the end, this math equation is the most accurate number to go by and we end up with 46.18 miles per gallon, more than the trip computer even said. Now that you have the big number and all seems perfect with the world, let me share a few things with you about the driving experience of the Mazda 3 while you watch streaming footage of historic Route 66 go by. All this fuel economy isn't without a trade-off or two. The high compression direct injected engine can be a little bit coarse while driving around town under acceleration. Add this to the 6-speed automatic transmission which lugs this engine a lot, all in the name of fuel economy. These are minor quibbles, however, but something you should measure yourself on your own test drive if you're looking at this car. Overall, though, I think if fuel economy is your bag, the Mazda 3 knocks it out of the park with an otherwise fun-to-drive character. Well, there you saw it, 46.18 mpg on a tank of gas for the road trip. That's combined city and highway, although it was only about 5, maybe 10% city at the most. That is pretty amazing considering this car is only rated at 41 mpg highway. It can be done. So some of you out there might be going, oh well it's fixed, it's rigged. Well, I have to tell you, I did try to get good gas mileage. I took it easy, but we went the speed limit. Um, so as I look at scoring this car, obviously as we said, there are a few little details that aren't quite right. A few things that are, you know, maybe a trade-off for that fuel economy. But overall, the Mazda 3 really comes off as a good value and is very competitive in this segment, not to mention fuel efficient. So this week, I give it four and a half out of five stars. I'm Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. I hope you enjoyed the ride. For a more in-depth review and photo gallery, see our report on gasmiler.com.